New animal species discovered near hydrothermal vents. Scientists have discovered hitherto unknown systems of hydrothermal vents in the Gulf of California off the coast of Mexico. At least six species of animals that have never been seen before have been observed around them. The discovery was made by scientists from the U.S. and Mexico working on the research vessel Falcor belonging to the Schmidt Ocean Institute. Scientists have discovered hitherto unknown hydrothermal vent systems off the coast of La Paz, Mexico. To study them, they used a remotely controlled underwater vehicle called Subastian, which has the ability to take water and soil samples and record high-resolution images. It is thanks to him that scientists have observed species of animals that have never been seen before. A team of scientists has discovered numerous fishes in the seabed, from which hot water with a temperature of up to 287 degrees Celsius emerges. David Caress, the expedition's chief scientist, said hydrothermal vent fields typically form in regions where two tectonic plates are moving apart. High temperatures and an abundance of nutrients make life possible around them. There is an idea that it was around such chimneys that life on Earth first appeared. Cracks and fissures in the seafloor, where the interaction of cooler seawater with warmer subsurface waters from deep within the Earth may have created a chemical rich soup that supported the growth of the first microorganisms on the planet. Using Subastian. Researchers spotted 10 species already known from other hydrothermal fields and six previously unknown to science. Among them are sea darts, clams, crustaceans, polychaetes and sea worms. Falcor, on his latest expedition, sailed to explore the Orca hydrothermal vent field discovered in 2015 and another system named Jachamarag discovered in 2018. About halfway between them, he came across two hitherto unknown hydrothermal vent systems. The scientists of the expedition named them Melsu and Mijer AWI. These names were taken from the language of the indigenous inhabitants of the Gulf of Mexico, the Kumei people. The name Mijer AWI refers to the myth of creation in which there is a god hidden in the form of a sea serpent. The hydrothermal field itself is arranged in the shape of a serpent. The name Melsu means blue in the language of the first inhabitants of the Baja California Peninsula and refers to the blue sea worms that are particularly numerous in these hydrothermal systems. The newly discovered hydrothermal vent systems are unlike any other in the world. The waters coming out of them are transparent, and not, as in the case of most other structures of this type, colored in a dark color. The color, the researchers believe, is because water flows through dark, basaltic rocks made of cooled magma on its way to the surface, and picks up metals such as iron with it. But in the Pescadero Basin, a depression at the southern tip of the Gulf of California, hydrothermal vents give off a clear fluid. This is probably because huge amounts of sediment from land end up in the Gulf of California, and it is this sediment that changes the color of the water. Hydrothermal fluids begin to interact with the basalts, but then have to seep through the sediment, Caress said. This process strips the fluid of basalts and metals and replaces them with carbonates, including minerals such as limestone. Research expeditions similar to those conducted by scientists on the Falcor ship provide so much material for study that it usually takes years for an analysis to be published in peer-reviewed journals. Therefore, none of the newly identified species has yet been described. Early symptoms of earthquakes and tsunamis can be seen in the ionosphere. Monitoring the ionosphere allows you to detect the first signals announcing natural disasters, such as earthquakes. 
tsunamis or floods. Scientists have proven in the International COSTO Project, led by the Faculty of Geoengineering of the University of Warmia and Missouri in Alston. As UWM reminds, Researchers have known for a long time that the ionosphere reacts to earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanic eruptions or nuclear explosions. They cause specific changes in the electromagnetic field of the ionosphere, i.e. the ionized layer of the atmosphere above 50 to 60 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Characteristic circles in the ionosphere were seen, for example, during the 2011 earthquake and tsunami in Japan and the 2015 earthquake in Illapel, Chile. Research in the COSTO. Contribution of swarm data to the prompt detection of tsunamis and other natural hazards. Project has provided new evidence that monitoring the ionosphere and capturing the so-called precursory signals allows you to predict phenomena such as earthquakes or tsunamis. The research was carried out by a consortium composed of the University of Warmia and Missouri in Alston, the main contractor, the National Observatory of Athens, the Technical University of Munich and the Technical University of Catalonia. The project aimed to better observe characterize and understand the interaction processes between the ionosphere, magnetosphere, lower atmosphere, Earth's surface and sea level, using electric field observations by satellites of the Swarm Geomagnetic Research Mission. In order to be able to use this type of observations in the future, the existence of a dense network of satellite and terrestrial GPS receivers is crucial. The ionosphere is best monitored with a signal from multiple stations. The correctness of the direction and conduct of such observations is confirmed, among others, by the example of the Tohoku earthquake in 2011 in Japan, where many people were able to evacuate thanks to the observed signals, emphasizes Dr. Hab. Eng. Wojciech Jarmolowski from the Institute of Geodesy and Construction of the University of Warmia and Missouri, leader of the COSTO project team. He adds that Japan has about 1,200 receivers. Future research will aim to create a global disaster prediction system. Developing observations of the ionosphere, in cooperation with seismologists, as well as analyzing the whole process will probably, step by step, lead us to predict this type of phenomena with high accuracy. Both the number of satellites and terrestrial receivers is constantly growing. So new observation sites are constantly being added, says Dr. Hab. Eng. Yarmolovsky. The COSTO project was focused on detecting ionospheric perturbations caused by earthquakes and tsunamis observed in data recorded by the Swarm satellites and other low-orbit research satellites, GOCE. Grace.